Hey guys, today we're gonna to be trying a whole bunch of new luxury makeup. I received a bunch of stuff from Chantecaille, their summer 2022 collection. Um, I am going to be trying the new Clay de Peau eyebrow gel. I just ordered this off of Bergdorf and I believe this is like newly reformulated. I think this is a product that they've had, but yeah, it's kind of been like newly launched and I think newly reformulated. So we'll be trying that. Uh, very excited to try the new Westman Atelier, uh, what's the full name? The Vital Pressed Skincare Powder. So we're just gonna be trying it out today. I do have it in one shade, creme, and they have five shades in total. And I ordered more of the shades that would work for my skin tone. I also ordered a whole bunch of other stuff from Westman Atelier. So I'm gonna be talking about it even more in a future video. I, I plan on doing like a full face of Westman Atelier, like a dedicated video to that brand because I just, Every time I use their products, I feel like I just fall in love with it all over again, and I know many of you feel the same way. So anyway, we're gonna be dipping our toes into this new product. Um, I also, very excited, have the new Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. Cannot wait to try that, because I've heard very good things. And then Rowan Beauty uh, sent me a few things. So they sent me their Eyes On Me eyeshadow palette. They also sent me um, one of their mascara, actually this is their only mascara, but their mascara, the Cake Lash in the shade black, and then some of their lip products. So we're gonna be trying all this stuff out today. I am a complete and total klutz. I again burned my forehead. Do you see that spot right there? I burned my forehead with my curling iron. Always happens when I'm in a rush and I just wanna like curl my crazy hairs, you know, that grow straight up. I just wanna curl them down a little bit and when I'm in a rush, I just wah, and I just hit my forehead. This one is finally healed and then I gave myself this one. So anyway, we're gonna be doing a really light kind of base because um, I don't think I'm gonna be putting anything over here. I just put some like ointment, I don't even know what kind, some ointment uh, on here. And so I'm just gonna be putting some stuff basically like on the lower half of my face. I did put sunscreen down, I do have all of my skincare. I'm trying to think what I wanna use. I pulled out my Victoria Beckham um, Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer in Golden. And I'm just looking at my other makeup here and if that would work with it. Uh, I've got that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. You know what, no, I'm going to just pull out like a tinted moisturizer because yeah, this is gonna make me a little bit deeper and I wanna get a very true sense of this cream bronzer. So I'm gonna use my Kogendo Moisture Foundation in the shade 113. If you guys did not catch my Violet Gray 20% off sale, recommendations video. I talk about this foundation because it's just so good. So I'm just going to spread it out the lower half of my face here. Yeah, I'm applying it sheerly enough that I think if I just run it up towards my forehead but don't cover the whole thing, it'll be fine. So that is the moisture foundation from Kogendo. You can get 20% off at Violet Gray right now. Of course, I'll link everything down below if you're interested. Okay, so that is done. Now, the Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder. So I actually attended a Westman Atelier Zoom where Gucci Westman uh, demoed actually like most of her products and she actually used this product last. Um, she doesn't like you know, overly makeup-y kind of looks. She really doesn't like heavy makeup and um, so she created this powder to be uh, very, very finely milled, very, very light. There's one translucent shade, and then there's four shades that have like very light pigmentation in there. So I got Creme, which has very light pigmentation in there, um, but the one that doesn't have any pigmentation is translucent. And so she uses it like as a finishing step. So she does all of her makeup, and so much of her makeup are cream products, so it sort of makes sense for her to use it last. Um, and then she just uses a light amount where she just feels like she has just a little bit of excess shine. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna apply some here, you know, maybe around my nose and maybe between my eyebrows. But this is what the compact looks like, very Westman Atelier. This one is refillable, which is very exciting. And there are also like skincare benefits in this powder, which is really awesome, which is why they named it the uh, Vital Pressed Skincare Powder. So here is the shade Creme. And again, I'm gonna do like a more in-depth talk about this powder and do a full face of Westman Atelier in a video coming soon because I did order 
more of her products. After watching that Zoom, let me tell you, I was not the only one. We were all online shopping, um, but I did get translucent and then I got bubble pink, which is a very, very light pink, um, which is great for brightening. So anyway, creme is like the lightest, uh, I guess, flesh tone uh, that they have available. So sorry, I'm just looking around for a brush. Oh, I almost forgot. Sonia G. <laughs> I've got two of uh, new Sonia G brushes. This is the Hinoki set. And I think this brush would be perfect. So I'm gonna go in with this new brush. I think these are still available, much to my surprise. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and just pick up a little bit of this powder. I would swatch this powder for you, but it's you won't see it. <laughs> so again, it's very, very fine and finely milled. There's no scent to it or anything. And I'm just going to press now. So of course we were on this Zoom call with uh, Gucci Westman and their director of uh, education and training. And you know, we were asking all these questions of course about the powder, what, you know, is it a powder foundation? She said, no, it's not a powder foundation. It is a powder meant to set, meant to finish. But Gucci Westman herself was very adamant in telling us that it is meant to blur and it is meant to pore minimize. So I just applied some here where I have larger pores and I could not agree more. My skin looks really filtered right here. Oh, that's so amazing. Again, we'll do like more comparisons and things um, in a later video, in a future video, but I definitely see that. Oh, it's so soft too. So there's definitely uh, a little bit of mattifying, like it brought the shine down from the moisture foundation, from my skincare, from me just walking my dog outside, it's like 90 degrees, um, but I don't feel like it's taken any kind of like radiance away. It doesn't, it didn't like suck the moisture out of my skin. So that's really nice, really nice. I would not have expected any less from Westman Atelier, but I'm gonna add some right here between my eyebrows. Oh, really lovely. It's a very kind of like soft velvet touch. Really beautiful. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't wanna over powder. And what should we try next? Oh the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. I'm really excited for this. So this is the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. And I did get it in the shade One Fair Pale. And here is the compact. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the like sun rays. And it's, you know, kind of one of those giant bronzer palettes. And here is the product. So, this is a cream product. It's meant to be used on the face or the body. I will only be using it on my face. <laughs> I'm not really one for body makeup. I just feel like I'm asking for trouble. I've got my refer number 17 brush here. This one is really good for contour and bronzer and things. If I were to use anything else, oh, I have this brush. Where's this from? This is a Chanel one, something like this, where it's like a little bit domed on top, this would be good too. So I'm gonna try it with this one and I'm just gonna, oh, let me swatch this for you actually. Ooh, very creamy, but not super emollient, which is nice. And yes, it looks like there's gonna be a matte finish. So again, this is shade number one, Fair Pale. Pick up a little bit, I'm just sort of uh, swiping the brush across the top there and gonna apply where I would contour first, kind of underneath my cheekbones there. Ooh, I like that. I don't know if you guys watched my um, like best and worst products from uh, 10 of my favorite brands and I talked about Charlotte Tilbury and I just love like her cheap products. They just always seem to work really well for me and one of my like the first, one of the first products that I tried from hers that really made me fall in love with her brand was that um, Film Star Bronze and Glow. That bronze in there is just such a perfect tone for my skin tone and the way I like makeup. And it was, yeah, it's just ever since I love her bronzer, just everything. And this is, this is no different. I love the tone of this. There's just a little bit of warmth. So it's a perfect bronze, maybe not the perfect contour, but the perfect bronze because it's just a hint. And yeah, it's blending out beautifully. 
Yeah, really, really nice. Okay, let's apply to this side. I mean, I went in a little bit heavy handed there. I wanted to make sure you guys could see it, but maybe I overdid it. But look at how beautifully that blends out. Wow, wow, that's really nice. Okay. And this has a matte finish. I don't, I don't mind that so much. Maybe because it's like a cream product. So it doesn't look uh, too flat. It doesn't look too dry. It just lacks any sort of uh, shine. But because it's a cream product, it looks, it looks creamy on the skin, you know? All right, now I'm gonna apply it to where I would apply some bronzer. So like across the bridge of my nose, kind of like the under the sunglasses area, and then maybe a little bit on my forehead. I'm avoiding this burn. I'm just gonna go around that. <laughs> And maybe just a little bit here. Oh, I think it's great. I really like the tone of this bronzer. Yeah, it works really, really well with my skin tone. All right, okay, Charlotte Tilbury. Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. Really, really nice. All right, now, um, some blush. Do I have any new blush? I don't think so. Oh, actually, hang on one second. Okay, I almost forgot about these, but Bare Minerals sent me these uh, bronzers. So these are blush and bronzers, and they sent me three shades. So um, I showed these actually in my latest vlog. Oh, that's gonna go up after this. Okay, I did like a quick PR haul in a vlog, but that's gonna go up after this video, sorry. So let me get these three shades out and I will swatch them for you. All right, so here are the three shades. This is Kiss of Rose, Kiss of Pink, and Kiss of Coral. Ooh, those are so pretty. I think I'm gonna go uh, lean towards a warmer one. So I'm gonna do Kiss of, Co I'm sorry, did I call this Coral, this is Kiss of Copper, excuse me. So this is Kiss of Rose, Kiss of Pink, Kiss of Copper. I called it Coral before, it's Copper. So I'm gonna go with Kiss of Copper because it's a little bit on the warmer side and the Rowan eyeshadow quad that I'm gonna play with is a little bit on the warmer side. So I think that'll just be a better match. All right, I'm going to take this Hinoki brush that I used with the Western Atelier powder. I'm just gonna use the same one go into this blush, or excuse me, this bronzer, and all of these have a really beautiful sheen. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but they all have a really beautiful sheen, which I love for blushes. Wow, that is so pigmented. I dipped it in once. Wow, okay. Let me, I'm gonna flip the brush over and blend that out. Wow, that's pretty. Very pigmented though, so be careful. Again, I'm just gonna dip in just lightly. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. One light dip with the brush. I'm gonna do it again though, just to match it up to this, but this is, I think, how I would normally wear <laughs> the blush. Really beautiful. Okay, Bare Minerals, very, very nice. Okay, let's move on to Chantecaille. So, in this little summer 2022 collection, they have a cheek and eye shade, Sunbeam, and then two like tinted lip balms. So let's save the tinted lip balms and let's take a look at this cheek and eye shade. So it's in the shade Ray. Here is the packaging. Isn't that so beautiful? I love this. So, so summery. The outer box packaging is a lot of fun too. So it's giving you kind of like sun rays, palm leaves, like that kind of feeling, but these just look like, um, almost like paint splatters. And here is that beautiful product. God, isn't that gorgeous? It is a Bake Gelee product. This is another product I swatched in my vlog where I talk about some PR products that I received. I think it may be a little bit too deep to use as a highlight, as a pure highlight. It could be great as a blush topper but I do think this will be really nice on the eyes too. So maybe I'll incorporate this with the Rowan quad and use this on the eyes, but very pretty. So I am going to take the other Sonia G Hinoki set brush. This one is angled and I'm going to pick up some of this product 
and just brush it on the tops of my cheekbones. I think because I have that bronzer down, I have that blonzer down also. <laughs> the bronzer and the blonzer. This one is uh, working out for me, but it does look a little bit deep in the swatch, right? But it looks okay on my cheek. Hmm, so pretty. That shine is gorgeous. It's so smooth. And one thing I noticed when I swatched is there's like a little bit of like a very micro micro glitter in there, but it's not really coming across when I apply. Like it just looks smooth. I definitely don't see the micro glitters on my cheeks here. Isn't that so beautiful? It's like so wet looking. Wow. Love it. Mm, gorgeous. Okay, so that is the Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade from Shantakai. Really beautiful. Um, next, let's try the Clay de Peau, uh Brow Gel, Eyebrow Gel. So I got shade 102, and I really wanted to try this. I mean, it's new from Clay de Peau, so I wanted to try it. But also, when I was talking about the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel and how I'm loving the Dior Onset Brow Gel now, someone commented they were like the Clay de Peau Brow Gel. That's the best one. That that was that commenter's ride or die. So I was like, okay, let me try it. So here is the wand. I feel like the shade I got is a little bit warm in tone. I guess we'll see once we get it on the brow. And let me just brush that in. Yeah, I think this color is too light. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, can you see the brown in there? I don't like that. I prefer it more gray. Okay. Well, let me just throw this in and see if I like the formula. If I like the formula, it'll be worth getting the right shade. So far, I like it. It's like, there's like tack to it, but it's not messy. Quite nice. And I feel like it's keeping my brows down immediately, like better, more than the Dior or the Tom Ford. Like both of those take some time to kind of set down but this one kind of feels like a little bit thicker going in right away, which is kind of nice. It really kind of avoids any kind of like messy eyebrow situation. Not bad, but I see the brown in there and I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so that's shade 102. Yeah, 102, just for reference. All right, now let's play with this Rowan Eyes On Me eyeshadow quad. So that's the box packaging. It also comes with a little velvet pouch. Here is the palette. I've already dirtied it up with my grubby fingers. Um, and here is a look at that palette. So the top two shades are cream shades. The bottom left is a matte. And then the shade on the bottom right is one of their uh, kind of like chunkier kind of shades, but a really beautiful metallic. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Rowan quads, but they usually have like a combination of these types of shades where there's like sometimes a cream in there, sometimes a chunky glitter. Um, I have, I think I may have all of their quads. I may have decluttered some of the older ones, but they have an 1111 quad that I really love. That I know I have. Anyway, here are swatches of the four shades. So the two over here, these two are the cream shades. This is the matte shade, and then this is that bottom right-hand shade. Super metallic, a little bit on the like thicker side. It's one of those um, eyeshadows that I feel like if you're not careful, you'll get some fallout. But if you pick up a little bit at a time and you like smear it, like really like blend it into your lid, you probably won't experience any fallout. So anyway, I definitely want to use the Chantecai Ray shade on my eyes too. So I'm going to start with this light cream shade. All right, I just grabbed my Sonia G worker brush going into this light cream shade and I'm just going to put this all over. It has a really nice subtle satin sheen. It's not like super, super shimmery or anything. So very nice. I actually like how subtle it is. It's very pretty. Next, I've got my Sonia G Blender Pro Brush. I'm gonna pick up this uh, matte shade very, very lightly and just add that to the outer corner here. So funny, I've been doing um, like one and done eyeshadow looks for 
like days and days and <laughs> I'm like not used to um, like building dimension. <laughs> it's all been forgotten. So I'm just lightly pressing this brown onto my shade. It's a very warm brown, as I'm sure you can see. Okay, that matte shadow applied pretty nicely on top of that uh, cream shadow. The cream shadow is almost acts like a, like a primer. There's like a little bit of grip to it. And so it took me a little bit longer to blend out the matte brown on top. But I think once I did, it looks really, looks very nice. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Chantecaille. I'll just use my finger. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and just tap it right on top. Let me actually tap it on top of the matte, then I think you'll see it. Wow, that's gorgeous. This would make a gorgeous one and done shadow. Okay, now that I have it all over, this is a little bit deeper than that Rowan uh, cream shade. So pretty, I love it. All right, I'm just gonna throw on some eyeliner. I've got my Wayne Goss Precious Opal. And I'm just gonna throw some on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. We're gonna try this Rowan Mascara Cake Lash. So here is the packaging, so beautiful. Same finish as their palette. And it's got one of those like fluffy bristle wands. So this formula seems a little bit on the drier side, which I'm kind of loving. Kind of gives your lashes like a really feathery, almost like powdery kind of look. I really like that. Instead of like really kind of like stringy individual lashes, which I know some people enjoy as well. Um, but I tend to like this a little bit more. Oh nice, my lashes are still curled which is a good sign. All right, thank you so much, Rowan, for sending this over. Cake Mascara in Black Noir. Oh, lovely. So now we have um, actually a few lip products to try. So I'm gonna swatch the new Chantecaille Summer 2022 first. Uh, these are the Lip Tint Hydrating Balms, and there's two shades in this collection. The first one is Marigold, which is this really beautiful pink shade. And did I even show you this incredible packaging? Look how beautiful that is. I love it so much. It says Chantecaille over there. I don't know if you can see that. So let me apply this. This is not a new formula to Chantecaille. They had, was it last summer? It came in that like metallic blue packaging. I can't remember what collection it was part of, but I think that was the first time they introduced this lip tint hydrating balm. Um, but it's not part of their regular line. So yeah, they keep coming out with it um, as part of limited edition collections. I kind of hope they come out, with <laughs> come out with this as part of their regular line because it is a gorgeous, yeah, it's just the Chantecaille lip products are just phenomenal. They always feel so, so amazing. I don't know what it is that they do, but it's very, very special. So that is Marigold. And then let me remove this and we'll put on the other shade. So the other shade is Sunflower. This shade is a little bit deeper than Marigold. And it's this one. I think it's a little bit more sheer. It's a little bit deeper, but a little bit more sheer than the Marigold. I don't know, that could just be my swatch, but let's try it out. Yeah, it's more sheer than the Marigold. <sighs> just as comfortable on the lips. No fragrance. So beautiful. Okay, so those are the two new Chantecaille Lip Tint Hydrating Balms. Love them. And then I have a bunch of glosses from Rowan that I wanted to try. This one, hold on. Two of them are shimmer lip glosses and then one is just uh, like a straight up lip gloss. So we've got Cosmo, which I think is like a clear one. Yeah, it's like a clear one with some gold shimmers in there. Let's Ooh, pretty. Ooh, interesting. Do you see the finish to these glosses? Very, very soft satin sheen, not a super high gloss, which 
you guys have been with me for a while, you know I really, really like, I do not like super, super like shellac looking lip glosses. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't like them on me. Um, okay, so that one is Cosmo. This one is Bowie. And this, ooh, this has my name written all over it. It's like a peachy shade with some gold bits in there. Oh yeah, like a soft satin. Oh no, these have like a mintiness to them. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, and then this next one is called Scout. And this does not have any shimmer in there. Yeah, these all have mintiness to them. So here is Scout. Ooh, really beautiful wine shade. All right, let me take off this Chantecaille. Probably gonna end up with these because I don't like mint in my lip products. They always end up drying out my lips for some reason. Okay, let's start with this Scout. Sometimes with deeper lip glosses, I'm always afraid there's like a little bit of patchiness going on. But this one's really nice, very even. Mmm, beautiful. And this uh, formula feels really great. It feels like a little bit like it's gripping onto my lips, but yeah, but it's not sticky. It's not sticky at all. Maybe a little gooey, I would say. Not even, barely gooey. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, let me take this off and let's try on Cosmo. So this is the one that looks white, but it's kind of clear. It's probably better as a topper, but I see it's like on its own. Hmm. Oh, I like that. A little milkiness. Very pretty. All right. And last but not least, this one is Bowie. So this is the one that looks peach. So there's Bowie. Oh, that's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Goes really well with the rest of my makeup too. Mmm. Love it. All right. So that's it for today's trying new makeup. I really enjoyed pretty much everything I tried out. I feel like the standout products are the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I think this blended out beautifully. I love the tone of the bronzer. It's like neutral, just slightly leading warm. So it's not too orange, but it's also not too cool. It's really, really beautiful. And it seemed to work well in areas that I just had foundation down. Um, and I did bring it up to where I had powder down as well, that Westman Atelier powder. So it seemed to play well um, in both regards. Um, yeah, so I really love that. The Westman Atelier powder, this is gorgeous. I love this like soft focus effect that it gave my cheeks over here and it really diminished pores and it really kind of blurred out any texture that I have there. Really, really stunning. The Clay de Poe eyebrow gel, gorgeous. I just don't like the shade. I'm just gonna have to find another shade, but I do like the formula. I felt like it had a little bit more hold immediately. Like there wasn't a lot of setting down that needed to happen. It just sort of like went on like a pomade immediately. So that was really nice. Uh, the Sonia G brushes, I mean, is there anything that has to be said? They're impeccable, they're gorgeous, they worked beautifully, and they're just such a joy to use as all Sonia G brushes are. Oh, the Chantecaille products, it, it, like, like Sonia G, is there anything really to say? They're gorgeous, they're impeccable. This highlight is stunning. It is so slick looking, I love it. And it looks great on the eyes as well. The hydrating um, lip tints are incredible, so comfortable on the lips. The Roan products, are nice so far. The mascara seems to be behaving itself. Um, these lip glosses are gorgeous. I just personally don't like the mint flavor. If that doesn't bother you, I think you may like these. And the Rowan eyeshadow quad, that behaved really beautifully as well. Oh, and the Bare Minerals blonzers, really beautiful. Which one did I try? Kiss of Copper, right? Yeah, Kiss of Copper, really gorgeous. I love, love, love like a really kind of like sheeny blush. And this is absolutely a gorgeous sheeny blush. Well, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.